Yesterday was this week's new comic book day, and we got the weekend coming up, so let's take a look at my top 10 FOC comic picks that are due next Monday, October 9th, 2023. If you see anything in here from DC Lunar that you're going to want to get, you're going to want to make sure to get those FOCs in by Sunday, October 8th, 2023. I did want to remind you, I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel. And if you leave a message, I'll read that message in the vi upcoming video. And I also have my spec picks for all of November in a video that I will put here. You can see a little card, but it'll also be an end card at the end of the video as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. And kicking things off at number 10 is going to just be the whole run of the TMNT last run in reprints. And I believe these are going to be regular comic book size. And that's why they're reprinting them. It's not just a regular reprint. But let me see. Yeah, the, the best selling series now available in standard comic size with new covers. So... That, I think I'm interested in picking this up. I know I mentioned it before in a previous video that um, I think uh, Bill from Economics and Comics will probably do a, um, <clears throat> a bundle. He usually does that. But these come out in different weeks, so you'd have to wait till the last one comes out to get it all. But So you see number one comes out in uh, November 8th, but it looks like the FOCs are all due this week. 15th is number 2, 22nd is number 3, 29th is number 4, and number 5, the last one comes out, the first comic book day in December, December 6th. So that's my number 10, it's all the last Ronins, and let's move on to number 9, and that is Spider-Man number 37, I'm showing you the 1 for 100 D. Lorenzi variant. But um, it's just another, you know, Disney black and white homage. And this one, it's so low because it's a possible first appearance of Repo. And it's described as the scariest new Spider-Man villain in decades. Which I don't know who, who is the scariest. But anyway, uh, there is a potential appearance in issue 36, so depending on if that's the first appearance or a cameo, number 37 uh, would probably be the first appearance or second appearance. Number 8, we have Wonder Woman, number 1 facsimile. Number 7, we have All-Star Comics, number 3 facsimile. First meeting of the Justice Society of America. And number 6, we have... Uh, the Uncanny X-Men facsimile, 141. It's just, um... Oh, honestly, it's one of the most iconic covers of all time. But it is also one of the uh, most important and influential X-Men stories. Um, and it's about post-apocalyptic future where Sentinels are ruling America. And it just is you know, one of the more iconic storylines. So, there's a reprint facsimile, if you want to pick that up. Number five, what if Dark, the Tomb of Dracula? So, it's basically, so Marv Wolfman is writing this, which is kind of awesome. But, uh, it's what if Dracula transformed Blade into an actual full-fledged vampire? And I think that'd be really awesome. But, I also want to show you this beautiful... Tomb of Dracula cover. Guess who did this? Archer. Shocking. I know. But yeah, let's move on to number four. We have Star Wars The High Republic number one. So this one, it's just. It's the first one in phase three, but if they decide that they want to put a first appearance of someone in, this would be it. You don't know, but it's starting over, so this would be the nice spot for them to put something in. Unforeseen. The unforeseen first appearances are always the ones that jump and have uh, the higher value in the secondary market. And Star Wars would have the value, the demand, and it's a number one 
of like a new phase so I th this is kind of like a perfect storm for an unforeseen key obviously this is complete conjecture on my part I have no idea so don't go buying this thing that I said that it could that it will be um, I'm just letting you know I think it could be um, but let's move on to number three and that is uh, God's number two and this one number one had a first appearance so number two has first appearance of Mia the magic girl a young sorcerer struggling to achieve her full potential and you got Jonathan Hickman writing it so I think this could you know I'm a fan of Jonathan Hickman and I didn't read number one but I'm wonder I think it could be pretty good and um, you know God's number two all right um, number two is uh, the amazing spider-man so I put the the Disney homage version where it was because I think regardless of any key value though that Disney one could have some value relative to the other books that are, you know are coming out um, but this one is where the storyline and that possible first appearance gets some spec value. And again, it could be the first appearance, it could be a second appearance. We won't know until number 36 comes out. I don't know if 36 came out this week. I haven't read it or heard about it, so I don't know. But that's my um, two cents on that one. Now, my number one is pretty controversial, and honestly, I don't like this idea. But it's Punisher number one. It's the first appearance of Joe Garrison as the new Punisher, and he is a retired S.H.I.E.L.D. Black, so Black Ops agent. <clears throat> I do like that he worked for S.H.I.E.L.D., though. I think that's pretty cool. And it also has a first possible appearance of the author, who is a crime lord. Now, I don't like the fact that they're doing a new Punisher with out Frank Castle. Frank Castle is my Punisher. Always has been, always will be. So, but... I do think that as far as spec value goes, this is the number one for the week. If it was my picks, this would be at the bottom of the list. Uh, but I did want to also show you the Scotty Young. I'm a sucker for Scotty Young, and I think this is really cool. It's a really good one. And so there's my number one Punisher, number one, specifically that Scotty Young variant. Alright everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video on my top 10 FOC comic picks due next Monday, October 9th, 2023. If you wanted to grab any of those books from DC Lunar, it's mostly those facsimiles really. Uh, you're going to want to pick those or put your orders in by Sunday, October 8th, 2023. Uh, one last time, I do have my... Uh, my PayPal, my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel and leave a message and I will read that support out loud in a video and I will put the card here for my um, my top picks for next week's new comic book day October 11th as well as my entire list of spec picks for the month of November so you can go ahead and get a head start and doing your research on that thanks again to everybody who made it to this far in the video and until next time